this one-of-a-kind lady heart guitar. It says here on the tag that it was handmade by Saturn Milner in New Orleans, but I'd just as soon believe that it crash-landed here from outer space. But that's how I feel about most things from New Orleans. It's made entirely from creatively repurposed items, including a hand-spun cone. Although the tuners are the tuners are real, which is good, because you need them. I'm reviewing this guitar based on popular demand, which is a little misleading because it implies that I'm popular and y'all are demanding when really a guy just asked about it on Facebook and we can accommodate that. This guitar does not have a pickup. It's just a resonator. And let's see how it sounds. It sounds like a resonator. Although it's not as like oppressively loud as some resonators can be. It kind of has that muted thing that lends guitars well to recording. You know what I mean? Does that ever happen to you? You pick up a guitar and you're like, wow, this sounds kind of kind of dull, kind of dead, but then you get it in a recording studio and it sounds totally balanced. That's a, that's a real thing. That's real life. Just good for that kind of trashy. I mean, it's made of trash. Maybe not as good for like, Sound too bad, doesn't it? Well, what the heck do I know? And this isn't necessarily like a great shredder. Man, ultimately that sounded fine because I'm a professional, but I was really exerting myself. <laughs> this would be a great guitar for Fred Eaglesmith. Y'all know who Fred Eaglesmith is? This is like such a Fred Eaglesmith sounding guitar. Obviously this thing is begging for a slide, and unfortunately for y'all, I'm pretty bad at slide. I mean, if somebody knew what they were doing, it would probably sound great. Whoops. That's the kind of music you gotta be making. I'm trying to play it with sensitivity and nuance, and there's just no point. with this. Most of the music I make isn't really about ruckus. Well, I do feel like for the last five years I've just been a human banjo loop. This slide is huge! How does anybody- I can fit- I can fit two fingers in this! That's ridiculous. I'm too small for guitar. This definitely said snowmobile at one point in its life. It's definitely as much a work of art as it is a usable instrument. And it would it's a really unique texture as an instrument too. It would definitely be cool on recordings or in real life if you are just a swaggering, slide playing bad that I am not. I give it three out of five Alan's. Alan, Alan, Alan. Here we have a punk rock denim vest and it comes pre-punked. Uh, you know, we were just talking about punk rock and, and rockabilly music and if you are just trying to look a little Tougher. This would be good for that. As you all know, I'm a very tough guy. Got a lot of hardware for a jacket. Oh, look at that. Those are spiky as all get out. This jacket is like one of those children's books that you can you can touch and the different things and it's like feel the bunny. Like this is feel the chain mail. Looks like on the back here we've got a sex pistols patch. Pathetic subsistence. Subsistence. Subsistence? Subsistence. That's not a word. The, I don't know what this says. And then this one says, punk will never die, but all of you will. And I've just hardly heard truer words in my 29 years. It's very heavy for a denim jacket. I could never be a punk, y'all. I would just be touching the stuff on the jacket all the time. Where are those other spikes? Where did the scary ones go? Scary spikes. That's <laughs> the Spike Girls. <laughs> what if there was the Spice Girls, but instead of the Spice Girls, it was the Spike Girls, and they were all punks and they had different things. So you had scary spikes. That's these on the back. Well, I think we've about had enough here, don't, don't you? I mean, I, I certainly am ready to not do this anymore. Thank you for watching Ellen's Favorite Thing at Fannies of the Week. Tune in next week for me to have another favorite thing. <laughs>